Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. So in this vlog I am renovating my bathroom. Um, I'm trying to do it for around about £100. So the footage you can see here is us um, going through the river to get to Mercia to carry out the work. Um, so we actually crossed this river when it was on amber um, and yeah, it was, a bit, it was a bit rough and bouncy but we enjoyed it. taking the boat to Mercia is because it's getting some work done as you know um, and whilst I'm there I'm going to make the most of having hookups so that I can get more of the work done like decorating the bathroom. Hi and welcome to the bathroom and um, so today I'm going to paint and um, just try and modernize the bathroom a little bit I don't have any new furniture or anything going in yet so I'm just going to repurpose what's in here um, and try and make it feel a bit more modern and kind of yeah so I'm going to repaint all the blue walls that you can see they're going to go white and then the trim which is here that's like a kind of light blue at the moment that's going to go gloss white um, eventually I'm going to paint the shower tiles um, and regrout, but I don't have time to do that yet. So I'm going to empty the bathroom and then I'm going to wash it all and then paint it. So while I'm emptying the cupboards, I'm just showing you um, some clips of what the bathroom currently looks like at the moment. As you can see, it will really benefit from some modernization. The vanity unit is the main thing I dislike about this bathroom. So I'm going to try my best to modernise it um, to save some money so I don't have to buy a new one. This boat has radiators fitted throughout but the central heating doesn't actually work at the moment so that's on my to-do list to sort. Here I'm just showing you some clips of what the ceiling currently looks like. I think this is where it shows that the bathroom needs a good coat of paint. It looks really worn. Um, and it just hasn't been decorated for a while. So I'm really looking forward to painting this room. It's going to look so good. So I've emptied the bathroom ready for washing before I prime it all. It definitely needs a good clean. It's with the coal fire it makes it so dusty. So I didn't actually explain why I'm doing the bathroom so quickly. It's because this toilet is an old one and we can't get a new cassette for it so it needs to be replaced so at the moment the cassette only lasts a couple of days so when I'm cruising we need to sort that so I'm going to get a new toilet once I've painted it all so this is what it looks like at the moment So as you can see the cupboards have been totally emptied, the amount of stuff I had in them was unbelievable. I don't know where it all comes from. So I've cleaned the bathroom and it's ready now for priming, I'm just letting it dry off. I'll show you how it looks, it looks pretty good. Um, I'm just going to go for a white primer, then white emulsion and then finish it off with a white gloss. I think that'll just help to freshen it up. So I'm decorating the bathroom to sort of keep it nice for about six months and then I'll get a new vanity and get round to getting the shower done. Um, so I, I think this space is going to be really nice. It's a really good sized bathroom, there's so much storage. So yeah, I'm looking forward to it being done. So that's me done the first two coats of primer. So it's dried off now and I'm going to put the first layer of the Dulux white paint on. So I have loosened off the towel radiator to try and get access to it, so it's just hanging on with a couple of screws at the moment. But it already looks a lot better in here. So I've done three coats of white emulsion on the walls. 
and now I'm going to gloss all the trim. You'll see that most of the cracks um, have now been filled in. I used some decorator's chalk um, to fill in the holes, well mostly, so it looks a lot better. So instead of replacing the vanity unit, I decided to paint this top bit black and I think it actually looks okay. The base of it's been painted white. I am also going to replace the handles on both the doors. So the shower has been regrouted. So what I'm going to do is, in, because I'm doing this on a budget, I'm going to paint the shower tiles got a nice dark colour to go in there and I think it will contrast well with the white. And the other thing I need to try and do is bring up this shower tray because it's a little bit discoloured at the moment. So I'm going to, I got some stuff to clean it with at B&Q yesterday. So I will try and clean that up. Just started painting the shower tiles. So they were originally this white pattern with like a little grey strip along them. So I've decided that I want to go for dark tiles to match the white bathroom. So I've just put the first coat on. I'm using um, a tile paint from b and I'll show you the tin. Um, so yeah, I'm quite nervous because I've never painted tiles before and I hope they come out okay. Not sure what's happening over that top corner. The paint doesn't seem to want to stick, but it does say you have to give it two coats. So. Fingers crossed it works out okay. So I'm taking a break with the dogs and taking them over to the park to have a little play. On you go. How's it been? What? <laughs> you want a treat? Sit down. Sit. Take care of. Oh, Hugo needs another one as well now. They're so hard to break these ones. Oh, oh well, there you go, Bean. Right, come on then. Go on. Hi guys, so I'm going to show you where I'm at with the bathroom. Um, it has been a bit of time since I last filmed because I've been so busy in and out of the marina getting lots of work done and things. So I'm going to show you where I'm up to. So as you can see, I'm pretty much done. I have transformed, in my opinion, the vanity unit um, to the point now where I actually don't know if I'll bother changing it. Um, the sink is really deep and it's so good for most things. It's a nice big sink. The storage under there is brilliant. I'll show you the sink. See how deep that is? It's really good. Got my little plant there. Um, just got this soap dispenser thing um, because I just think it looks neater than having a bottle of soap. Just kind of blends in with the bathroom. So I also have got the new little handles, the door handles. Just got little black ones from B&Q. Really pleased with how they look. Just much more modern and sleek. Got my new toilet, super happy with the new toilet. It just looks so fresh. Um, so this toilet is the Thetford Cassette. I know previously I said I was gonna go for composting, but I decided to stick with the cassette. And the reason I decided to stick with the cassette is just because of the change in regulations with CRT. Um, I know some people don't like the compost and I totally get that because people were disposing of it incorrectly when it wasn't properly composted. So I decided that with the changes going forward, I'd be better sticking with the cassette. It's nice and simple. Got three cassettes, um, so I've got so much waste, um, to, well, waste storage rather, because that was originally why I had to change it. So I'm super happy with that. So the cassettes store really good in this cupboard. I won't open it and show you because it's a bit messy, but I can get two cassettes in there and obviously the one that's in the toilet. So the bit that I'm most excited to see, uh, to show you, you'll see behind me, is the shower. The shower actually came up really well. I was a bit worried about painting the tiles because um, I've never done it before and I wasn't sure if it would stick. So I'm going to show you how it looks. So this is how the tiles came out. They look super shiny, really clean, nice and dark. 
the contrast in this room is so nice now. And I also fitted a couple storage baskets um, just for like my everyday kind of use stuff. So that's the showers painted. So good, I'm so pleased with it. Now the other thing that I was showing you was that the shower tray was like kind of discolored. Um, so I've spent quite a lot of time cleaning the shower tray and it actually has come up pretty good. It's not perfect, but it's a 14 year old shower tray, so it's not going to be. Um, so I'm going to keep going with that. I think I can get it up another couple of notches just to make it shine because at the moment it still looks a bit dull. And when you run your hand over it, it's not smooth. Not that you would need it to be smooth, but you know what I mean? I like it to look nice. The bit that's not finished, you can see there's a couple little imperfections. So along the top, I want to fit some like beading or something because the paint wouldn't stick to the silicon. And also there's one chip just there when I was trying different options, I kind of chipped it a little bit. So I'm going to run some beading around the top all the way around and that'll finish it a bit nicer because you can see there I didn't make the best of jobs. Also round the bottom of the shower tray needs to be finished as well. Again, it doesn't stick to the silicon. So I need to finish that off. The other thing I wanted to show you was I replaced the toilet roll holder and I think that looks gives it a nice touch. That's the just a black one from B&Q. And also in this bottle is you can buy cassette toilet cleaner, like toilet bowl cleaner. So I put that in the bottle um, with some water and I just spray it every time I use it and I think it just helps keep the bowl nice and fresh. I don't know what anybody else does with cassettes but if you've got any things that you think work better, let me know in the comments below. And lastly, I painted this. This used to be like a sort of silver colour, so I painted that black as well and hung it back up and just for some extra storage and things. And I think it looks pretty good. I'm really pleased with how this room's come out. So the bit that I think needed painted the most was the ceiling. And it looked really faded and things. So I've painted it white, as I said before. And I did get a little bit of paint on the vent. Okay, quite a lot when you see it like that. But um, I'm going to clean that off and, or if I can't, I'll get a new one. But over here in this corner is where it looked really dull. So yeah, I'm really pleased with it. So that's the end of my little bathroom tour. Um, I hope you like it. Let me know what you think. Um, I'm so pleased with how it came out, considering I did it on a really small budget. Like the transformation, excluding the toilet, was about £100 for the paint and supplies. So I think that what I spent versus what the outcome is um, is really good so yeah let me know what you think and I hope you enjoyed this vlog I know I'm a bit behind on filming and editing and things but I'm back to my every week schedule so yeah I hope you enjoy it and I'll see you next week bye so I'm just going to show you some before and after pictures um, if you've enjoyed this vlog please consider subscribing it really helps the channel to grow thanks see you next time bye